Hi, I'm JC Xue, Portfolio Manager at Ford Asset Management. I'm here to share more colour on global equity funds' performance through the fourth quarter of 2021. The Ford Global Equity Fund returned 3.5% underperforming global markets in what turned out to be another volatile quarter. Global equities were up 6.7%, posting the strongest quarterly return of the year during this period, initially driven by a strong rebound in corporate earnings which surpassed already elevated expectations. This exuberance was relatively short-lived, however, as a new, unknown, and potentially more transmissible COVID-19 variant emerged, resulting in a near 5% correction in equity markets over only a few days. Finally, though considerably more infectious, investors' realization that Omicron COVID-19 variant appeared notably less virulent propelled global markets to new highs. Contributing positively to fund performance were investments in materials and financial sector. A key contributor within the material sector was Freeport McMurray, a leading global copper miner that was up 28.5%. Shares of Freeport rose following the board's decision to increase cash returns to shareholders, a key component of our original investment thesis. In addition to the previously announced strategy of returning 50% of free cash flow to investors, the program includes a new share repurchase authorization of $3 billion, as well as a variable dividend payment effectively doubling the annual base dividend. We view the cash return strategy positively as it doves tail with our investment thesis, demonstrates the board's commitment to returning cash to shareholders, and reflect management's confidence in the sustainability of cash flows in the coming quarters and years. Within the financial sector, fund holding Berkshire Hathaway led returns, gaining 9.6%. Shares of Berkshire, a leading US conglomerate with exposure to rails, industrials, housing, and retail, rose on the back of robust US economic data. Unsurprisingly, the fund's North American investments led regional returns. US equities grew 10% during the period, outpaced global markets 6.7% gain and handily bested emerging markets, which declined 1.3%. Both Freeport and Berkshire contributed to the fund's strong North American performance. Weighing on performance during the quarter were fund holdings in consumer discretionary and healthcare sectors. Within the consumer discretionary sector, leading Chinese online retailer Alibaba declined 16.5%, largely on the back of ongoing regulatory uncertainty currently gripping the China tech sector. As highlighted on prior occasions, it is our belief that while uncomfortable during implementation, China's regulatory changes will drive healthier economic development once implemented and that shares of Alibaba, among other tech firms, remain fundamentally undervalued. Within the healthcare sector, Elanco was down 11%, detracting from performance. Shares of Elanco, a US-based leading companion and livestock healthcare company fell as management commented that inflationary cost pressures were temporarily rising more quickly than could be passed on to customers. A combination of cost-saving measures along with price increases will likely mitigate any negative impact over the medium term. Though periods of underperformance can be trying, of which this quarter was one, we are unwavering in our belief that the fund's underlying earning power will ultimately determine its value. A belief that has served us and our clients well over several decades. The underlying earnings growth of the companies that comprise our portfolio continues to outpace price appreciation. As investors return to valuing companies based on their earnings and cash flow generating capabilities, this gap will again close as has been the case historically. We look forward to speaking with you again next quarter.